Future is looking bright for Port Tampa Bay. The president of the port today reporting that bulk shipping is up, but the number of cruise ship passengers is slightly down. Still, eight on your side also wanted to hear how the port is preparing for increased trade with Cuba. News Channel East Jeff Patterson is joining us now live from the port with the update. Hello, Jeff. Hey, good evening, Keith. You know, before the embargo, when trade was allowed between Tampa and Cuba, Tampa was a key player between shipping between here and there. Now the question is, with change on the horizon, what is this port doing about it? The state of this port is good. Paul Anderson is the president of Port Tampa Bay. In his annual State of the Port address, he talked about room for growth. We have some of the most uh, available land to grow this port of any port in our nation. Some of the growth in Tampa may be coming from just over 300 nautical miles to our south in Havana. Port Tampa Bay is in the most strategic position when it comes to trade with Cuba. Democratic Congresswoman Kathy Castor is convinced trade opportunities are coming with Cuba. She sponsored a bill in Congress to lift the embargo. Once that happens, I think that Port Tampa Bay and this community will be able to supply telecommunications equipment, construction materials, agricultural equipment. So it's important that they build the relationships now so we're prepared for those jobs and that business. Paul Anderson believes the port is ready for whatever happens. We are prepared for uh, Cuba. It's when Cuba decides to open up trade with U.S. companies. Anderson told me it will be up to the shipping companies that do business here for increased trade with Cuba to impact this port. Port Tampa Bay has great infrastructure, fully prepared to support our customers who will be the ones doing business with Cuba. Yeah, I also spoke with former Governor Bob Martinez about this topic today. He believes even if the embargo is lifted, trade opportunities will be slow because he says the Cuban government simply doesn't have the money to pay for a lot of things, so they can't have a lot of trade. Keith? Yeah, it's difficult, but we are strategically located, no question about it. We have to be in the driver's seat if it ever should come to that. But did, did Mr. Anderson give you any specifics on how we're getting ready for Cuba when he says that? You know, I, I tried to ask him about that, tried to pin him down on some specifics, but Paul Anderson told me that he doesn't want to give away their exact game plan because he doesn't want to give the competition a leg up. And there is competition, no question about it. Jeff Patterson, yep. live at Port Tampa. Thank you.